Good morning and welcome to another edition of Macam and Thai. Today Nina is off to Bangkok to get some breast enlargements. Not my idea, her idea if she wants to do it. Um, so we're booked in and she's going to have the uh, procedure today. So we're just going to have some breakfast. Just going to have some breakfast and then um, set off about 7 o'clock. Should be in Bangkok around about um, 9 o'clock. And then we'll take it from there. I'm going to stay in Bangkok tonight. Nina's obviously going to be staying in the hospital. So I'm going to do as much footage as I can. Hopefully I can do some stuff in the hospital. I'll try my best. And also I'll do you some footage on um, what we get up to in, or what I get up to in Bangkok. Holding my breath and I'm ready to go. I'm falling right in and I'm ready to go. I found what I want and I know that we're on top. So I'll tap in and I'm ready to walk. Okay, good morning everyone. Today is the 10th of November and we are off to Bangkok to um, have some surgery. Well, I'm not having some surgery, but Nina is. And what you haven't done? Your boob. Your boob. Uh -huh. Just one boob. Two boob. So she's having breast enlargement surgery. The questions are how big? Uh, and whose idea is it? Well, it wasn't my idea, was it, Nina? Yeah. Your idea, my you idea. wanted it. Yeah. Not me, before anybody out there thinks it's me. I'm quite happy for her to do it. She'll be there in two hours. So I'll um, we'll quickly show you a time lapse of the journey there. And then we'll see you at the hospital. Well, we're 24 kilometers away from the hospital and I'm stuck in Bangkok traffic. So even though it's only 24 kilometers, it's going to take us, according to sat now, an hour to get there. Yeah. Plenty of time for you to relax. That's what I need. That's what you need. Mm -hmm. You nervous? Not really. Not really? Mm -hmm. Alright, just want to get it done. Yeah. Okay, well, once we get there, I'll uh, be back. at the hospital after a mammoth journey through the traffic in Bangkok. Yes. I'm absolutely shattered. My backside is definitely numb. But we're going to go in now. Yeah. So after a long journey, we eventually arrived at uh, Lelux Hospital in Bangkok. Um, pretty big, pretty old the building itself, but um, nice and clean and tidy. Um, obviously been there a few years. So Nina checked into uh, reception and then she had to go along for um, a COVID test, which probably took about 15 minutes to um, get the result back. So once you got the result back, it was back to the desk again to uh, give some more information. Um, and then we uh, had to sit and wait until we uh, were taken up to the uh, next level in the hospital. I've got to say that Nina wasn't uh, in the slightest um, nervous about the operation. Um, I certainly would have been with any kind of operation, but uh, 
she wasn't nervous um, at all. Just behind there, there's a restaurant. Um, Nina couldn't have anything to eat, but I was a bit peckish, so uh, I decided I was going uh, in there to uh, get myself a drink, and then I also decided I was going to get some food as well because it looked um, particularly good and it was uh, it was pretty cheap as well. So just before we went upstairs, I decided to take a before video because obviously I won't get a chance to do that again. But we went upstairs and filled in even more paperwork. Well, Nina's over there now doing some kind of consultation. Quite a few um, girls on the desks down here, so and it is really busy, like loads of, loads of uh, people in. They don't just do breast surgery, they do all sorts of different things, so it's quite busy, but Nina's over there now, and I presume she goes to see the, the, uh, the doctor after she's done this initial um, interview, but we'll soon see. All right, I think she's got to do the financials. Um, they don't like the video on any, so I've got to do a little shot, little bursts when I can. Because obviously there's a lot of people in, I suppose it's quite private, so she knew she's paying the bills, or paying the bill. Did you go in there for this time? I shake my mouth. Are you sure you're breathing? No, that's okay. <laughs> so everything's okay? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. We'll see doctor, 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 Okay, see you soon. So, had your blood taken? Yeah. What's that for? Yeah? yeah. For being ready to check my body. It's okay to do so a... just doing loads of checks. Mm -hmm. Okay then. Mm -hmm. Make sure. Okay. If you're fit. If you're fit. Oh, I know you're fit. Well, we've made it to Nina's room if she's going to be spending the night. Nice little balcony outside, actually. This is a view from the balcony of Bangkok. We'll have a look inside and see what the, the room's like. So she's got a TV. Not really big, big enough. Table left when she has her food later because she can't eat until after the operation, which is going to be later on today. The bed. It's got the safe there so she can keep her personal belongings in there when she goes for the operation. A spare bed there. I'm going to be sleeping in that tonight because I'm going into Bangkok. Table and chairs and uh, wardrobes. As I say, it's not the newest uh, building in the world, but it's nice and clean and tidy. Bathroom. It's quite nice, considering the age. and quite a nice shower size. So there we go, we're in the room. I'm just waiting to see the doctor. I can't go in to see the doctor. So I'll be going shortly and then um, we'll see what kind of footage I can do once uh, Nina comes out. Almost, uh, Are you nervous yet? No, I'll be okay. Be okay, good. Okay then. 
Right, I've left Nina in the room. I can't go in to see the doctor, so no point in me hanging around. She's gonna let me know what time the operation is this afternoon. And then um, I'll update everybody else. All exciting stuff. She said she's not, she's not uh, worried. I'm probably more worried than she is. But there's, uh, it's like a conveyor belt of girls going in there for all sorts of different procedures. So they're obviously used to doing, used to doing it. So I'll give you an update as soon as I can. Hi everyone. I just come back to see the doctor to shoot my boob and I decide I get the 400 cc for me and now I come back to the room with the calling for go operation soon we'll let you know when they finish what they gonna look like okay Bye! Okay, I finally arrived at my hotel, Bel Air in Bangkok. Soy 5. I'm gonna go in and uh, get checked in. And then, uh, well, for a few beers, I think. Christmas trees are already in Thailand, can you believe it? Well, Nina's just sent me a message to say she's going in for the operation at 3 o'clock. And uh, I'm gonna pick her up tomorrow at 12 because the doctor comes around to do his checks. Uh, at 11 o'clock tomorrow so hopefully everything is going to go to plan and uh, I get a message later on to say that she's uh, all good and when I do I will also let you know as well So Nina contacted me and told me that everything was okay and she was back in the room so I went out for a few drinks, watched England uh, play an absolutely fantastic game of cricket against India and then went for some Mexican food and then off to Nana for a few beers. Nana was really, really busy. Uh, had a good night, went to bed early and then was ready and fresh for to go and pick Nina up the next morning. Well, I'm back at the hospital now. So I'm just gonna put my bag in the car and go upstairs and get Nina. I think she'll be upstairs anyway. Can't see her outside. Probably have to give her a hand with the bags anyway. So what happened when you went for the uh, operation then? I don't know anything. She go lie down and then they give me clean the bowl. Then when doctor come, when I wait, they got my bowl from. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So they just give you an injection to make you go to sleep? Go to sleep? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And how long did it take, do you know? Say one hour. Yeah? And then you felt okay when you come upstairs to your room? No, you take me to here. I mean, I feel, I mean, on the tablet, maybe you feel, and then I feel okay after that. Did you eat? Last night, not eat. I'm not fancy eating. You're hungry now? Drink. I have um, rice soup in the morning. All right. Well, you can have some when you get back. I'll make you a slice of toast. <laughs> okay, we're just waiting for the nurse to come and give us some money back. Mm -hmm. Because Nina couldn't have a certain course of medicine because you had high blood pressure. Mm -hmm. Because you hadn't slept and you hadn't ate, eaten, is that right? Yeah, I say not sleep enough, but not eat. But it was okay this morning? Mm -hmm. Sick already. Okay, good. Well, we made our way downstairs into the car park, packed the bags away, and uh, made our way back home to Patty. The journey back was a lot better than uh, the previous day. We did it in um, less than two hours. So we're back home now, and Nina's got the box there with one of the uh, 400 cc implants. So you get the boxes in case there's a problem and there's a barcode on there, is that right? Yeah. Do you have any problems in the future? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. And you've been back a day now. How do you feel? I feel okay now. Good. So we go back on Tuesday to see the doctor to do a check. Yeah. And then you go back in a month after that. One month. One month after that. Mm -hmm. 
So, if you want to see the uh, big reveal in one month's time, then you'll have to subscribe to the channel, click on that bell notification, and then as soon as I put the video out, you will be the first to know. Actually, it'll probably be for that, won't it? Because yeah. you'll be able to show off your uh, new body in how long, do you reckon? A few weeks? <laughs> a few days? I have party number 25. All right, so she's going out on number 25. So it'll definitely be before then. Mm -hmm. Okay, thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you've enjoyed it. And we'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.